And as one chapter closes, another opens. Well, this will certainly be interesting. Hello. Hello, my name is Edwin. And mine is Dominic. So, where do you come from, Dominic? Wales. Oh, I see. Are you on loan with us? That's right. Your controller borrowed me from NCB Ashington for a few months. At least, you're upfront with us about it. Good to have you on board. Just then, Mr. Salmon walked up to the two engines. Hello, Dominic. My name is Mr. Salmon. I'm the official manager of the Woodhead Line. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. Anyway, as you probably know, for the next couple of months, you'll be running the yard here at Manchester. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Oi, shut up, will ya? No, you shut up. Eh, uh, please excuse me, but I have to go. Wait for me, Edwin. I need a ride to Sheffield. you see what you've done? You can't shut up for a minute, can you? Can't you shut up for a minute? No, no I, I can't. can't. Ah, you always do that. No, I don't. Hello, it must be Dominic. The next passenger train leaves in ten minutes. The Duchess of Sutherland is taking that, so make sure it leaves on time. Yes, sir. That evening, Norbert the 8F was to take the mail train. It wasn't his favorite job, but he was always happy to work. Meanwhile, Dominic was repairing the train for him. Thanks, Dom. No problem. Um, Norbert. Nemo for short. Okay, okay no, no problem, problem Norbert. Norbert. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, is that the time? I'd best be off then. You've done it again! I've done it again. You're the one who frightens them away. Me? Yes, you. Did you notice that Dominic talks with two different voices? It's more than that, I'm afraid. Oh, aye. He argues with himself, and sometimes talks with both voices at once. It's like he has two personalities. It's really unsettling. Hmm. I have seen this sort of thing before. Really? Where? 
uh, in a scrapyard or steelworks, somewhere horrid like that. Some engines can cope in those places, but they can drive some engines mad. He must have worked somewhere like that in the past. I know what you mean. I guess we were lucky to still have our sanity after the scrapyards. Do you think that is what caused Dominic's disorders? It must be. The next day, Edwin puffed up to where Dominic was shunting. Hello, Dom. Hello, Ed. Dom, me and the other engines have noticed that you're acting a bit strange. And I wondered, can I ask you what's wrong? I, uh... Let me tell you a story. I was a shunter at Newport Scrapyard a while ago. Every day new engines were being, being cut up, the screams were horrible. They kept me awake at night. Well, a few years later I started working at Ashington. It's a miserable place and I grew lonely. Nobody looked at me, spoke to me, nothing. The memories of the scrapyard were fresh in my mind, but I did eventually find someone to talk to. I see. Is this someone, your Welsh friend? Yes. We don't exactly get on anymore. Dominic, I'm sorry, but I think I know of a place where they might be able to help you. Really? Yes, but I won't tell you. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, okay. Edwin puffed away, looking very worried for the little diesel. Later that day, he spoke to Mr. Salmon at Sheffield. You wanted to talk to me, Edwin? Yes, it's about Dominic, sir. What about him? Can you come to Manchester later on my stopper? I must show you. Of course. So, later that day, Mr. Salmon and Edwin arrived at Manchester. You're the voice in my head. No, you're the voice in my head. Okay then, the voice in my head, please stand up. There were voices. None of us can stand up. Oh, right. But figures. I knew something was wrong when he arrived. Something needs to be done. Please say you're sending him to the works. Yes, straight away. And I will also contact his owners. It's awful how he's ended up like this. They don't care about their engines. Huh. <sighs> what do you know? One is better than two, eh? Sometimes, Edwin, it is. Mr. Salmon sent Dominic and Dominic to the works. When he returned, he felt like a new engine. He quickly settled into life on the wood headline and became good friends with the other engines. They all agreed that one was indeed better than two. <laughs> 